Alright, hello guys. So today I'm going to be making some compost tea. So I ordered a kit from Boogie Brew, which you see all right here. It came with a lot, so I don't remember what exact kit it was, but it came with a lot. It was only about like a 100, 120 I think. I'm not really for sure. But, so today I'm just going to be using everything that came with it to make some tea. So I'll be right back with that. Alright, hello guys. So here I'm just going to be mixing everything, just getting it all set up, brewing it, and then show y'all after. Product. Let me move this here real quick. Spill the water. Okay. Burlap sack. Okay, so here I have the burlap sack. You can see it's used. It's been used up three, four times. And so I'm just going to start adding things. I got my teaspoon, tablespoon, and a fourth measuring cup because I didn't have a full measuring cup. So let's start off with the boogie boost. All right. So I'm not going to read everything, but so it says half a cup part A, which is bait, half cup part B, which is boost. So we're going to put a half a cup in here. Let me just open it real quick. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's what it looks like. Kind of like cricket feed, bird feed combined. Maybe a little different. So, we'll put a half. so that's a fourth of a cup. And then this is a half of a cup. Alright, so that's with the boost. Put the boost right here. Get it out the way. And now the base. Which is actually the compost, I think. Yeah, it's actually it's actually the compost. Alright. Alright, so so it looks just compost. A little particles, but nothing much. Oh, it looks very, very fine almost. Alright, half a cup of that, half a cup of this. So that's the boost and the base, pretty much all you need for the tea. But I'm going to go a little further. Alright, here we have boogie bricks, which is apply fourth of a teaspoon, uh, yeah, teaspoon to one teaspoon per gallon weekly. So fourth per gallon, I have, I have five gallons, so I'm not going to go too much on it. I'm just going to get a, get a I'm just do. I'll do one tablespoon. Pretty sure this is well enough. I'm just going to put it directly in here. There's no point in putting it in there because it's going to mix with all of it. So it'll sump straight down. So I'm not going to mix anything. I'm just going to show you everything. And there's ants crawling all over me. Fire ants. So hopefully there's none around me. Alright, so that's the blue bricks. Okay, now the pure protein, uh, dry codfish protein. Okay, so apply one to two tablespoons per gallon. So I'm not going to do that much because I only have a little. And then, I don't know how this works. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like fish. One tablespoon. I don't even know if this is a tablespoon or not, or a teaspoon. Oh, that's up. Looks like... I don't really know what it looks like. I'll apply it directly in there. Leave that like that. I need to put it in the bag soon. Alright, so here we have water soluble amino acids. Now, when I got the kit, it never, it didn't come with this, but uh, they forgot to ship the water filter. So they sent that with me and they gave me an extra, they gave me an extra, what's it called? Pure protein and water water soluble amino you know, acids like hey we're sorry about that guys so i, I like that because customer service is really good all right so water soluble amino amino acid direction one tablespoon one teaspoon with five gallons of water apply directly to soil when one hour mixing all right so we're not we're not gonna do that yet so after make sure any of this said that okay now the other one said anything about that i remember reading something like that earlier all right, and then we have the boogie frass. So, okay, tea brewing boogie frass. Maybe use the fortified compost tea at a rate of one cup per five gallons. Important, add a mature teas only brew for 24 hours before applying. So we're not gonna apply this yet. And then we have a, then we have teas. All right, okay. So it says one cup for five gallons of tea. 
All right, so we'll just add a cup. We'll, we'll add half a cup because I have another deal of uh, uh, warm castings. Oh, it's both warm castings. This is Warm Gold Plus, and this is just Organic Solution Premium Warm Casting. So I add a half a cup of this, half a cup of that. This doesn't take, I don't. I never saw anywhere where it says compost tea, but I'm still gonna add it because why not? Instead of half a cup, I'm gonna do a fourth cup of each because I can. Fourth cup there, and I'll just close all this, seal it up later once I'm done with all of it. Now this one looks good in here. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna tie it off. I forgot to do something. Untie it real quick. Alright, I'm gonna put the small air stone in. Then I'm gonna tie it off. Tie it real quickly. Yeah. I still smell the uh, codfish protein. I don't really like to smell fish too much. Alright. One more loop. Not to get it tied, not tying it, just to hold on to it. Alright, so you, you just mix it around real quick. Let's get everything going. And now I'm adding the big air stone. Just put that right in the middle and there we go we got our compost tea brewing so I'll be right so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I'll just record like the last couple minutes of taking it out and everything I'm gonna do something like that all right so here we go with brewing and I'll be back once it's done Alright, so here we have the water soluble amino acid powder. You probably can't read that. It's a DLSR camera or something. I'm not good with cameras at all, but okay, so I'm gonna add some of this right now. Ah, barely got it open. And it said one teaspoon per five gallons. So add about this much. I don't know if you see that. I'm just gonna add that. Alright, and then we have the Boogie Frass, which is just the exoskeletons of beetles. Nothing much. Pour it in here. The cup too big. You're not going to fill it all the way. And I'll just add all of it. I'm gonna stir it a little. Hold on, let me get down there. I don't have anything better to stir it with. And I'm just gonna turn the pump back on. And I'm just gonna leave it on for a while, and then I'm at my to my uh, garden tower. I don't have any plans right now because I recently got the money to do some of this, but it will be up shortly. And I'll show you guys a video once I have my plant set up.